Welcome Pisces, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of August 2nd through August 8th of 2021. Welcome also to the Lionsgate portal, which is official on 8-8 at the end of this week. So last week we focused on healing what was blocking us from being able to use the A8 portal to manifest our greatest abundance, Pisces. So instead of looking at the exterior, your home, your job, your person that's with you, your person that's not with you, instead of looking at those things and trying to change people, places, and things, as the sun aligns with the Sirius star officially on the A8 date, we're going to go use this week to go within, connect with spirit, and manifest our greatest abundance okay Pisces let's see what it is that you're going to be working with this week what are you healing this week Pisces you have a sexual arts it's number 33 my favorite number beautiful card Pisces it says that you are going to be working on healing how you express yourself intimately with others right away i felt like i'm talking to someone who hides their emotions i could be talking to someone who's hiding their feelings from someone could also be talking to someone who doesn't feel confident enough in themselves to express themselves intimately all right pisces let's clarify we're going to use the numinous astro deck to clarify Let's see if we can place this general reading in your own personal birth chart. Gemini has come out. Gemini, it says, is the butterfly. Gemini is the twin, so I could be talking to someone on the twin flame journey. This card says curious, communicative, flexible, social. So yes, definitely feel like I'm talking to someone who's hiding something. Um, I would definitely go look, Pisces, to see where Gemini is on your birth chart. What planets are in that house? What does that house represent? fifth house passion so I cannot I mean I can already tell that it's something that you're passionate about I feel a really intense energy um, I would definitely also go look to see where what's in your fifth house what sign represents your fifth house If Gemini is a sun, moon, or rising for you, I would definitely go watch the Gemini video also. Expansion. So, clearly, it's just you're hiding something. You're keeping something within, and Spirit's going to help you show it. Like, bringing, bring it out to others. Alright, Pisces. Let's use the Witch's Tarot for our main spread. Let's see what challenges or obstacles you're facing with this situation. I feel a couple of different situations like someone doesn't know how to express themselves and then there's another where like someone is I'm feeling energy of like where someone knows but there's there's fear of expressing their emotions expressing their feelings expressing anything intimate the star so the star is about like purification cleansing this person maybe feels like they aren't worthy of or they don't deserve to be able to express themselves this way something like that lesson already learned wheel of fortune that's just that's something that's happening right now wheel of fortune says something's going to change turn um, bend work in your favor and then outcome justice so clearly bringing some balance to some sort of situation um, justice is about karma so I feel like someone, I'm definitely talking to someone who feels like they're not worthy of some sort of intimate relationship. Um, they're keeping their feelings hidden. Um, I think it's possible too that they feel like they will become vulnerable if they show their feelings or like what they're passionate about. All right, Pisces, let's clarify. We're going to use Rider Weight to clarify.
Alright, for the star. Knight of Cups. Someone's going to bring a message. Someone's coming back. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. So, challenge or obstacle, the star. I felt right away like someone felt like they're not worthy of or they wanted a clean slate. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be you, Pisces. Someone around you could feel that they're not worthy of you and they need a clean slate. Um, I'm definitely kind of getting that vibe with the Knight of Cups. Like, someone wants to bring you a, a, an apology. Um, say they're sorry about something. This is someone you were in a relationship with. It's taking a lot of courage for them to bring this. They want, like, a new start. Um, they do want to return. Six of Cups is like returning. Nostalgia. They think about you often. But then you have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles tells me, Pisces, that you've become this independent, stronger person. And you might not want this person to return. Like, you might not really want this communication with this person. Like you've already wheel of fortune can be like a cycle like you've already ended some sort of cycle something turned and you took a different route five of swords disagreements arguments the moon pisces mm. so the moon does represent you pisces it also represents fear You also have the Six of Swords. So I do feel like you left a situation. Um, you felt like you weren't safe in this situation. You had to find a safer environment. The Six of Swords is always like going to calmer waters. You had to take your family. There always shows like there's two people. It looks like a small child here. And they're going to a safer place. Justice, Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, is a that's what's completed. It's a painful life cycle. This person taught you a very painful lesson, Pisces. And I feel like whatever happened with this person is what's caused you to, like, ex um, suppress. Like, you're holding in your emotions now. You're fearful of expressing your emotions to someone new. Eight of Wands says something quick is going to happen. Sudden change. So does this Wheel of Fortune. Like, I feel like something quick. This could be a person that comes in. Forgiveness. This could have something to do with forgiveness. But something is going to happen very quickly this week that's going to, like, balance the scales. And Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can mean two things. It can mean that you don't want to let go of something. So even though this person comes in and offers this forgiveness, you decide to continue on the route that you're on. Four of Pentacles can also say, like, this is not, it's not enough for you. Like, maybe their words, whatever they ask for forgiveness for, or how they ask, like, it's not enough for you. It's not enough for you to change your mind. Alright, Pisces, next we're going to do Guidance. And I've changed it up a little bit this week. I've actually mixed together the Queen of the Moon Oracle and the Magical Times Empowerment cards. I'm totally loving it. Works out great. So, I also want to mention, everybody keeps asking about the different card decks. The link is below for all the decks that we've used today. Journey. I definitely feel like I'm talking to someone on a twin flame journey. It says, focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. So I do feel like something's going to surprise you. This wheel coming in, the eight of wands, like something's going to come in and it's going to help you. It's going to be quick and you're not going to have been, you don't, you didn't think it was coming. Discernment. Discernment says, like you're, you could have confusion, but I feel like this is what you're clearing up. This is what's happening, is you're clearing up this confusion. Something's going to come in, and it's not that it's not enough, it's that it's not enough to make you change your mind. Peace. You already have peace of mind. You've let something go. That's what gave you this peace of mind. The peace of mind card says you often have to let something go in order to get peace of mind. Surrender is on the bottom. Surrender says that you are not giving up, but you are doing what you can, and then you're leaving the rest to spirit. 
and wisdom. You've definitely gained wisdom in this journey. All right, Pisces, let's end it with a Moonology Oracle. This is going to help with your thoughts and emotions this week. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week. That Knight of Cups is going to come in and bring some sort of emotional message. But I do feel like you're going to balance the scales. Justice is brought in. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. It's the full moon in Pisces. So full moon energy could be coming in with this Lionsgate portal energy. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So Pisces, if you were concerned about your home life, your family life, the end of a tough cycle approaches. It's the full moon Capricorn. So I feel like Spirit's trying to tell you that this full moon that's coming up next is going to be significant to you for some reason. And a new start is coming. It's the new moon. I think I'm going to leave it right there, Pisces. I feel like you're clearing up some old karma. You're balancing the scales. And something's going to happen to help you be able to start to express yourself more intimately. Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.